There we go. Yeah. How you doing? You, you actually, you came for freaking prepared for all these. Usually you have to tell people, can you put headphones on? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God, I have to start being annoying. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I see. I could tell you're professional at this. Well, uh, don't don't say that yet. You don't know. I may, I may, I may let you down at some point, you know. Because your headphones have a microphone. Yeah, I'm trying. No, you're you know. a professional. That's it. That's it. That's it. You can't. You can't show up with headphones and a microphone and tell me it's not professional. <laughs> you can't. There's no way you can do that. I, I, I agree. <laughs> yeah. There's no way you can have a microphone. I mean, headset, okay, but microphone. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I know what you're talking about. I can understand. <laughs> How are you doing? How's, I'm how's fine. Vegas? Well, 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 Vegas never changed. It's just like you left before with, with quarantine. That's it. But do you have, do you quarantine in in like the hotel for the UFC or is it in a different uh, place? Um, yeah, I'm still in the hotel with the UFC, uh, UFC hotel because I was there for the last five yeah. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so today, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, I can. I mean, yesterday and today. I could have go outside if I wanted to go because I'm not in the quarantine anymore because the five week is over. So the gotcha. five week Sirigan, five week starting tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay. So for today I'm free, but I will get tested tomorrow and then self quarantine two days and then um, and then I can leave like going to the PI, going to you know. But for now, uh, this is the weekend. Gotcha, and. I didn't know they've had hotels with kitchens and stuff. Man, yeah. normally it's like it's like two little beds. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're trying now the pros in that uh, sort of uh, resident in, and uh, mm -hmm. they have um, I mean, I have an apartment with uh, with uh, with two two bedroom with a kitchen. With uh, I mean, so we have um, we can go to the grocery one time in a week, and then you can shop and cook. And, uh, you know. What does the PI provide for the food? They're still providing the, the, the Trifat, Trifada, I don't know the name of the company. Trifecta, yeah. yeah. That, yeah those they, like microwave ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they still can, they're still providing, but just for the fire. So Cyril will have a meal, and uh, but I, 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 or I go to uh, Uber Eat, or, or I go to, or, or I'm cooking something, so... <laughs> How, how is he feeling? How is he feeling for this? Dude, it's, it's a main event. It's it's a main event. He literally, yeah. he just got signed. If you think yeah. about the time between his fight, now he's a main event fighting uh, what, top three. Yeah, that's good. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's obviously happy, but not happy. Like I, I would have be happy, like happy, like, but it's not. It don't care. It don't give a, you know, you know, Cyril. It don't give a damn. Yeah. It's, it's like you know, he's just happy about the poster. Like, hey, I have my face on the poster. What are you talking about? Who cares about the poster? You know, but uh, you know, Cyril. That's cool. <laughs> you know, Cyril is just a kid, you know. So. Yeah. So, like, I, I'm not. The thing is. Normally, when somebody has a first five round fight, you know, the big thing is, you know, how have you prepared for the five rounds? What have you done different? <laughs> he doesn't need any motivation for yeah. any of that. You need to calm him down. Yeah. So like, <laughs> and which is, it's already, it's already strange, but as a heavyweight, that's unheard of. The fact that you have to, manage him to not do exercise all the time yeah that's crazy that's crazy i mean he just enjoy the the he just enjoy everything and uh and yeah. to be honest his stamina is kind of correct it's got for a heavyweight have a decent stamina all day long all we all all the all the year so there's nothing changed much but it, uh, I, I needed to adapt a little bit with the with the uh, is a conditioning coach. We talk mm -hmm. about how to how to uh, a little bit last the training and make it become a little bit like longer in the training that uh, that usually. And with me, 
what I will do is that um, I, I I will add some guy in the training camp. Like uh, uh, if instead of training spare with one guy, he will spare with three or four guys. So they're coming fresh each round gotcha. and get him yeah. tired so we can have like six rounds and then we can a little bit test him, get him a little bit tired, you know. So yeah. But, uh, so is is this only for for this fight because it's five rounds, or do you prepare him differently for every heavyweight? But when you think uh, the first the Sirigan first fight was in TKO Canada, and that was for mm -hmm. the straight for the title, yeah, like the, the, his very first fight for, was for the title. So right away we start prepare for the five round. We always used to prepare him for the five round. But as soon as I knew one month ago that I'm going to go. Uh, back to the five round in the UFC, I wanted to test him in real time. Like, uh, so I brought um, different guy because uh, I needed him to still move, to to still be the type of heavyweight, light on the feet, moving, uh, changing the level very fast and everything. So I had people like Faisal Yusin, who is uh, Rizan Zouak Osman, Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I, I add uh, people like Alan Bodo, who looks like uh, Jazino uh, Rosenstrike mm -hmm. anyway, and uh, and and young guy in the gym, young heavyweight, very strong wrestler, very strong striker, and so the, the, they were switching every time, and so we can uh, I can push Cyril because Cyril, no matter what you do, he will not try to go very high. If you give him an opponent strong, he will go a little bit stronger, just a little bit. And if he is lazy guy, and if you give him this, he will go just a little <laughs> bit. So I will push, I will push with a bunch of people coming fresh and get him tired. So that's what we did. And and this one, this one's more to make me feel better. How many times do you yell no <laughs> during sparring? You go no and then turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then everything uh, else continued in French so I, I never understood but I did understand the no <laughs> yeah yeah I'm uh, I'm kind of emotional I'm sorry for that I'm coming I mean whenever whenever I have to do a job I'm kind of emotional and I, I let my emotion go there and say no 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 you know like uh, everything was perfect why would you do this no don't do this you know and uh, this, this, that's, that's me but uh Cyril is like I said again. You are serious when you train. Uh, you're serious, you know. Yeah. Cyril is fun. He, he tried to be funny every time. So <laughs> even you say no, he will find a way to make you laugh. Like, <laughs> hey, coach, hey, yeah. coach, you know, like, like a one-man show. You know, I'm like, fuck yeah. you, just you know. So yeah, that that's the thing with Cyril. Whenever you have that process with him you know that he's very enhancing his performance when you keep him jogging he need to be yeah. he needs to jog he need to laugh he need to play he like that that kind of environment where people yeah. they can laugh you know so i tend to to let him play in the gym and play in the in the training camp do you feel like that sometimes makes it harder because he's joking to to get your point across on what you want him to do or or a position you want him to get into no because he's um he's a smart guy you know that's just, this is a business is he have a kid have um a, 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 a wife he need to provide food he need so you know at some point when it becomes serious you know I, i mean like i will joke with him and then touch him and um you know that this is sensitive for me. If if I if if I if I do meet with him and I touch his face, you know this mm -hmm. is sensitive for me because since day one I've been preparing him for the big hitter, for people that can you know like uh, uh, Rosen Strike will try to 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 just kill him. You know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Francis does kind of people they can hit very hard. So mm -hmm. um, I need him to be. Um, moving or ducking or seeing the move comes and 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 he we can joke on everything but if i touch him if if alan or nasso didn't touch him in the head 
you know that's that's a big problem for me i don't i don't allow that i, I don't even give him the room to have him get touched in the head yeah do you feel like it because he's such such a mobile fighter right he's great fantastic movement do you feel like that's down to the way he trains naturally because he likes to play so much because it's not about that knockout punch it's not about hitting and also he he really cares about protecting the people he's training with right yeah. very much very like to to a point that he would end up hurting himself to protect that person that he's training with Um, um, um <laughs> okay I, i thought that you forgot about him in fact you really you really know him oh uh, uh, <laughs> come on <laughs> you really know him come because on. <laughs> the most of the time that i'm yelling no to Cyril is because he stop a movement to do not hurt someone yes. like we have this guy in the gym named uh, uh slim is wrestler from tunisia Uh, Olympian guy, very strong, very powerful. And this guy can hit hard, like 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 wrestler. When they don't know how to box, like skillet, they can hit like very hard, you know. And this guy will try to sometimes, you know, hurt Cyril. But Cyril, yeah. he will go boom, boom. And then when he show like he have the opportunity to knee him in the belly, he will just stop putting himself in danger to to eat a punch i'm like what the fuck are you doing he's like coach i can i can i don't want to hurt him no Cyril, you cannot do that you know so um the thing that give me let me confident is that i know that is a bad guy Cyril, when the shit his defense is a fucking bad dude the problem that i I need him to do that in the training is because I need to quantify the the amount of work that we are doing. I need to know when he's tired, when he's not tired. I need to know when he's, you know, I, I need to put down on the paper how how many kilowatt did you spend training so I can give them to the conditioning training. But he don't give me that opportunity because he's always managing everything. You will never see him uh, too tired. You will never see him hurt someone. You will never see him, you know. But the the past, in the past, when he was fighting in the TKO or even some fight in the UFC, you know that he can he can, he, he can stand there in the in the middle of the the octagon and and bang and bang just go. Um, you know. Yeah. I, so I need to pull him back, like oh, stop, stop, stop. So. I know that he can fight. He can go to the dog fight, like very bad dog fight. But still, sometimes I need him to to push the pace in the gym, to 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 even hurt people in the good in the good sense, like people like Nasudin Imavov. When he trained with Cyril, he's looking forward to try to you know to try to follow to to to, to you know to ride the train of Cyril, and so he can. In his performances, and mm -hmm. if Cyril do not hurt him, he don't feel he don't feel in danger. Cyril yes. always manage to do not hurt people, but those people they need him to give the best Cyril so they can improve. That's the thing. Yes. Even Francis, when they was training in the same gym, he was complaining about this. Francis used to say to me, um, "I'm disappointed to the training today because Cyril didn't give me enough. I, I wanted him to push me more, but I don't know what he's doing. Like he's he's thinking maybe he's careful about the he's too care about the the history and he don't have to do that. He just you know. So this is something that you have to know about Cyril. He's, he's just he's a nice person out of the octagon and can be monster if if the shit hits the fence. Yeah. 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 Of course. And um. Why? Why was it so important for you? Because he's a kickboxer, right? He he came as a kickboxer, a phenomenal kickboxer. So, why did you make him so well-rounded? Why didn't you just give him takedown defense? You know, like that just uh, seems like the the logical thing for somebody in that position. You have a heavyweight, which is a great kickboxer, and instead of just adding takedown defense, you gave him a complete set in a groundbreaking time <laughs> because um uh there's two things the first thing is that I'm, i'm lucky i'm lucky to have been i have the honor to train a such a 
talented guy. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm lucky to have crossed your road. Have you as a student, uh, Veronica Macedo? This is something. So, so <laughs> I, I, I've been feeling blessed this all this time in my in my small career of coach. That's the first thing. So, the second thing is that whenever you do in the life, you learn, and I did learn in the very hard way, losing the title with Francis. Mm -hmm. I, I, I did learn a lot because even we had that game plan, who was that we could have be light on the field and touch and then move and touch and then be sippy. Still, mm -hmm. um, uh, it wasn't complete. I, I, I'm very good to try to make people win the fight. Yes. I'm, I'm, like I'm working like a lawyer. No matter if you commit a crime, I will take you out of the jail. That's my job. So no mm -hmm. matter if you are not complete in your formation, in your training, I will fight to get you win the fight with whatever you possess as skills. So okay. I was going, I was pushing someone like Francis in that way. Mm -hmm. After losing that belt, I was really like, traumatized by the situation. And I thought a lot how to make the 2.0 of heavyweight, how to push the, 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 push the limit of the training, the skill, how to do. And like I said, again, I was lucky to find someone who can um, masterize what I'm giving. So, yes. if, if you, so that makes it easy. And, uh, and I'm very glad like, um, Siri is not right now. Siri is not working in the BGG program. It's not working with uh, with a coach in BGG. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure that it, it, it deserves to be a brown belt at this point. It's, it's like I'm very proud of him. He's doing things that I, I couldn't imagine that he can do, and uh, and and including wrestling, he can do such. A, I mean, like and and. When you think there's people like you, Veronica, who can give a, a back kick, that they, they learn that at gym, they can do that at gym. But when the fight comes with the light, with the noise, everything, they will just stick to what to 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 throw some punch because they don't want yeah. to put themselves in danger. Their risk, yeah. You know, and this is something that I really appreciate on Cyril, on Rizlen Zwak. Rizlen, sh she's a judo cat, but she can throw an, a, a spinning elbow. She don't care. She will try to, sp yeah. to spin and do anything, you know. That's what, the, the, this is uh, what I love on Cyril, that everything that we try, he will put mm -hmm. that on, he, he will try to, like, really try that in real situation, in fight situation. This is something amazing. So this it's it's a little bit cheating because <laughs> because because I know you but um whenever there's there's a fight coming up for a fighter in your gym you make them a whole pdf <laughs> but like it's not it's not like a few things like maybe you should jab no you have like that person's <laughs> life their dislikes you have absolutely everything about that person and you have everything about you know, your own fighter and how, how they would match up and how you would fight them. So sometimes you have very stubborn people like myself <laughs> that maybe you write, you write a plan and you see that it just doesn't make a connection. Like the game plan makes, it makes logic sense as to how it goes, but the fighter can't really put it together. So how do you do in that situation when, when you see that's the case, when you see in training that you have a little bit of time, you know, like to play and work with that the plan that you have, even though it is logical and correct and all of that, you see that the athlete is not really able to, to implement the plan. So how do you go from there? What I like to do it is to talk with the fighter, like, okay, this plan that we just had, is there something that, it's wrong on that, that you cannot apply, that you feel like it's not. Okay, let's say I would give a name of a fighter that is not fighting anymore. So there's not any putting him in danger of something. Yeah. 
we talk about Christian Pumbu, former light heavyweight champion in the Bellator. Mm -hmm. We, I had, I had this plan on PDF. Everything wrote down, the skills, the the opportunity, the trick, the the strength, the weakness, everything down on the paper. And one of the things that I was giving him against the fight with um, Rampage was to keep him far away. I want you to give him some tips. Did front kick in the belly. I mm -hmm. want you to kick that. And he will say, okay, but in the game, not doing that. And I'm like, why don't you do that? Why don't you apply that when you are spare with this guy? Because with me, in the meat, in the in 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 the meat, you are doing that on 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 my yeah. shield, on my body. Then he will avoid. Uh, he will confess to me that I'm afraid of the elbow on my toes, so I never kick that kind of thing because I'm afraid of getting hurt on my toes. Yes, I'm like, man, you just you should have told me that very early on the camp because now <laughs> we are almost in the end of the camp. <laughs> If you told me this, I would have found something else, maybe the double jab, maybe something yeah. else, maybe the, the oblique kick, something else. But if you don't let me know, we're still going in the camp in the end of the day. Uh, and in the end of the camp, I will find out that you have a problem with this. So I need to talk with you guys. I need to, to, to see how this goes. In, um, in some case, there will be things different. Like sometimes... When you find a traveler like you, there's a lot of thing going out there because the, 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 there's thing that you have been seeing somewhere and that uh, conflicting with things that you just see in this place and we need to figure out. And so that's why we need to talk. We need to talk yeah, of mostly of the time and, and, and figure out how to make the, the good way. In the case of Cyril, again, I have that thing very smooth, which is, is one or zero. Cyril, as soon as you give him an idea, he will say, I can do that. I, I just can. I, I'm, he will, or he will say, yes, 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 yes. So the, uh, there's not, we are not even wasting time. It's if Whenever you say something, whenever I say something to Cyril, it's like a robot right away. Right away, one, I mean, no matter what happened, it will make that happen. In the second, it will make that happen. But again, when we train, if I show him any submission, like Cyril can do, is he can masterize the, the twister. He know how to do the electric chair. He know how to do the banana split. He know how to do things that- I've seen it, it's crazy. I, you know, but if I ask Cyril to do me the amber, he will say, no, I don't like that. <laughs> I just, I, I can feel my body doing that. I don't, I don't like that. And I love that. I love to be clear with my father that if you don't feel comfortable doing some move, I should not push you to do the move. Because yeah. now that the study in the University of Sport have been improving, we know that people the born with some patterns and if, mm -hmm. if if you stand straight i push you on your back you will step with one foot forward to do not fall that foot can be the left one or the right one depending of your patterns so if mm -hmm. someone is willing and very uh, fast doing the takedown going with the, the lead foot let him do that. Don't change that. Don't oblige him to do with the with the right foot, with the right foot, because this is the way that you was wrestling when we were scared. So I need to let you guys be free. Whatever you want to do as movement, I will show you the, the, the technique, the movement, but let your body match with the techniques. Otherwise, this is not working. Gotcha. And I saw that you have um, called Fight Management College, right? Yep. It was hard for me to see it because it's in French. So I was going to ask you if you have like an English version for it. I, I was I was trying to see it, and it's it's fascinating things. And some of the tips you put on Instagram, and yeah. and the way you teach fighters, and the timing, and the footwork, it's yeah. it's great stuff. That 
I'm 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 working on that to get the the the, the French version, the Italian, the, the the English version, and the Italian version. Mm -hmm. That's that's the two version are uh, coming up probably uh, in the end of the year because that's take a lot uh, a, month, a lot of time to to work on that. But for now, it's, uh, we only have for the francophony for the French people coming because I had uh, a lot of requests coming from Canada, coming from Africa, French, French African country, coming from, you know, the, all the, the, the Iceland, French islands. So that's why I just, and, and again, uh, it's easy for me to teach in French to, to, to put all that. Yeah, of course. More knowledge that I know in French that putting that in English. Uh, and, um, but yeah, it's French management college is, school for people that feel like they want to or be coach or understand the mindset of coaching in in my way because again uh, this is uh, uh, this is just my small way to see the thing i'm working with very brilliant people you know nicola Hort, of course mm -hmm. uh, nutritionist conditioning guy you know uh, francois laurent benjamin safati i'm uh, working of a bunch of guy that They, they really have the good knowledge on the sport, on the on the the, the, the way the, the body works and everything. But most of the time, I'm working on uh, on the strategy, on the way to do the, the, the mindset of that. I'm a, a, and I have to admit that in order to do that, I'm also learning from people like like you, like my student, people like. Uh, um, the boss of the reptile thing. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, to be honest, uh, it's helping me a lot. Your man is helping me in the way that <laughs> when, when I'm seeing him doing some analysis, I'm really um, fascinated by the way he's seeing things, you know. And uh, and uh, whenever I know that he have something that I propose, I'm, I, I will watch it and uh, and then give me some idea to improve what I'm doing. I like when he say, man, okay. <laughs> when he say, sit down. It's going to okay, be like, sit oh. down. He say, man, <laughs> okay, what do I start? When, whenever he say that, I'm like, oh, this is, <laughs> this, this is how, this is that. I just starting something very good. So yeah, I'm learning from people that I, I admire around me and what they can do to, to bring, that and put that in the knowledge because now we know that everyone can can have a best conditioning everyone can have a best uh, mental conditioning everyone can have a bad diet the different now uh, i mean in my point of view the the thing that make a fighter be right away eligible for the for the top 10 for the title is the fire iq And that fat IQ can be teach. That fat IQ can be learned um, the, in the way the mindset works. How, how you know? So, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, that's that's how I, I, I had that company, uh, Fight Management College. Yeah, it, it honestly looks great. And from somebody who, man, you single handedly made made MMA legal in France. No, that's not true. You are too kind. I've been, no. I've, been right. I, I've been trying but I have, this is like this is like the headphone thing where we started off that I said yeah. you're professional because you got a headphone with a microphone yeah. and you were yeah. saying no you're being kind no, no no I'm not I was there I saw you had to go against the judo mafia in France <laughs> which is that's like I don't know Whatever New York Mafia no. <laughs> insert from si, movies. Sinuala si, 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 si Mafia or how to say the, the, the cartel mafia, you know. Yeah. No, you, you annihilated all of them. You annihilated. I, I remember you, te you telling me about MMA, like it's going to become legal in France. And, and I was honestly just so skeptical. I was like, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. And then And, and for me, the worst part is that I saw how hard you worked and how much you incorporated all your athletes to this, right? To, 
to have a, a good image, to make sure that it was received appropriately, how you treat the children that come into the gym. It, it's, a, it's a very safe environment. And you have like people, administrative people and of the government come in and check. And honestly, they're mostly coming in to check to kind of shit on you. And, and they leave like, wow, this was amazing. You know, and to kind of, obviously, because I went in and out and, and I didn't stay through the whole process, like in order to see it, but I did get to see a glimpse of how it evolved. And for it to become legal and then this pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Yeah. My God. Yeah, the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Just kill everything. Yeah. But again, is done. At least we we are now in a new era where we can speak about MMA in France. We are mm -hmm. now in a new era where Cyril Gang can be named um, um, sport representative of the the how to call that I don't know the equivalent that I can say in UK, but it's like a, a region Ile de France is just like you have the Nevada. So mm -hmm. um, uh, we we have the recogn the recognition of the government about uh, in on a lot of stuff, and so that's good. That's pretty good to have um, people start to talk about MMA the way that in some magazines, some print magazines, who are for the model, for the cast, for if you know. The, the large people now start to talk about MMA. It's not only the specialists of the MMA. So um, this is something that is there. You cannot take that out anymore. It's there. We, we have been working a long time to have that happen. Again, I need to mention that. I, I definitely need to mention that, that there were a lot of people working on that beside of what uh, I was doing. There was so many people working on that. Like the UFC did work a lot of that. Vicky that, you know, uh, uh, Victoria from UFC work a lot of that. She's from UK and, and uh, with the MIF, they work a lot of that. There's a lot of other actors, other freshmen that did work on that to make that happen. And now that it's, it's done, I'm very happy for that. Now we have the, the, the COVID pandemic there, but sooner or later there will be that vaccine working. And if it works yes. and that we can, we can kill that COVID, at least take that back and we can turn, be back with the audience in the, in the mm -hmm. event. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy that we, I, I've, I've been doing, I got my little touch on the legalization in MMA in France. That's, that's, that's enough for me. I'm satisfied for that. <laughs> so you changed many people's lives. And not only that, but you've changed MMA. You've contributed to changing MMA as a sport. Like the, everybody who does MMA owes a gratitude to you. Uh, you know, and any, and, and I, I don't say this Honestly, I don't say this to be nice to you. I don't say this because I, for, for any, any personal reason, I say this as an athlete, I truly mean that you contributed so much to this sport, so much. You've, you're not, you now have two superstars, superstars coming from France, from your gym. And not only that, but it was, it was people who, who came in And it's not like they came in prepared, ready, and were like, okay, here, you know, like you weren't gifted this ready athlete that you just went next to. You, you built these athletes and in a, in a short, short period of time. And, and I wonder, I wonder because your gym is, whether you admit it or not, it's very famous. And whether people admit it or not, that's like, I don't give a shit. It is, it is very well known, very respected. And I'm sure that a lot of people now, because of hearing these stories, right, of, of seeing these people, of seeing that, that it happened, that you turned people who didn't really have a life in MMA that weren't really like, MMA fighters or stars and stuff and, and you and you turned them into you you created that 
you know, like you, you walk with them all the way. So how do you choose who you give your attention to? How do you, how do you make sure that it goes to the right person that not just anybody comes to your gym and, and they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be world champion. You know, how do you tell the difference between those superstars? Uh, you, 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 you're very kind. Like, to be honest with you, you was a, you, you were about to get me cry because, uh, <laughs> seriously, because, um, the, when you do this job, most of the time, people do, the misunderstand you and they think that, uh, what, the, 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 you're doing this because of money, because you want to be famous or because, most of the time is you love a job and then you do that to, to see people enjoy. Like no matter what happened, Desert Washington used to say, it's not about how many cars you have, how many houses you have, it's about how many motherfuckers from your community you bring with you in your business. How many people that you, you you bring you, you how many people that you give the, the the opportunity to get a new life to get a new life and in that sense when you use that word helping people this is kind of love for me no matter what the situation if I'm not friend anymore with Cyril Gunn, if I'm not friend anymore with Veronica if I'm not friend anymore with Rislan I'm proud to know that I've been part of their legacy. I'm proud to know that I helped them to have a, a job, a lifetime job. Like, like you know, I, I'm, I'm always saying thank you to my coach, uh, Mathieu Nicou. This is my only one coach that I had in my life in MMA because of him, I switched my work. I was engineer on the electrotechnic. I just switched it to become a coach. So I own him that because he gave me the light. He showed me the way. No matter, I can say to people, I'm a self-made. I'm this, this is bullshit. There's someone who took my hand and showed me the way. This is your yes. way. And for that, I'm really happy to know that in the end of my days, I will be smiling and say, this guy, I did help him. This girl, I did help her. This is a, this is a, that's like that make me happy and give me something to feel like I did something in in my way when I was here in the head. But again, the life changed you with the time. When I started this job, I remember I was saying that I'm a manager but mm -hmm. I didn't have any contract with anyone. I didn't have any contract with anyone. I get Francis in the UFC, I didn't sign any contract with him. You don't believe me, but it's the truth. I, I, I don't even remember if you signed a contract with me when I- I believe you, you because you did, we didn't sign a contract. <laughs> so, okay. so you don't have to convince me. <laughs> okay, so- I First hand, believe you. <laughs> so, but the time, the time I've changed with, with all the things that you learn with, a, with the life, how life can be complicated, how things can change. Mm -hmm. And you learn that the time is very important. I have two daughters. I'm spending much of my time at, at the, in the gym, traveling around the world. I need to give them time. So I'm giving them, the, now I'm giving the maximum of the time in my, on, in my family. And the rest of the time, I'm giving that to the to the work when 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 I can, and in that time, I will just be clear with my student. If you give me your time, I give you my time. If you feel that I don't deserve your time, I will not give you my time. You, I didn't sign a contract with some some a man big number of person, but Cyril can have a contract with me, a contract since, his, since day one, 
because I've learned, because finally the ideal mom that I, the, 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 the world, the ideal that I had in my head that the world was, wasn't that way. So the, the very first day that I saw, I talked with Cyril, like we met, I met Cyril. He said, he, he went to my gym, talked to me. I didn't pay attention because there's a bunch of people coming in the gym saying that they can do this, they can do this. And he wanted to train with, uh, with heavyweights in the gym. And next day he told, and he told me, uh, by the way, I have a fight next week against Brice Guidon. And I'm like, okay, this is a big liar. Or I don't know what he's doing. Or it's stupid. He got to get killed because <laughs> Don is a killer machine in the kickboxing. Yeah. I don't know this kid. I've been working with the French Federation kickboxing. I know almost everyone. I don't know this kid. So, or he's a liar or he got to get killed. Anyway, I don't care. The week after that, he sent me the sheet of paper saying, Cyril Gan win won uh, Brice Guidon by flying me first round. I was like, what Jesus. the fuck? <laughs> I went to Google his name, check the name, and then call him right away. Cyril, can you come in my gym? He went to the gym. We went to sit down and talk. Okay, what do you want to do? Well, I want to go to the glory and uh, maybe sign a big contract there so I can evolve. So I need to learn with you if you can show me, train me and then get to the glory. I'm like... Can you give me, can you do me a favor and like what coach? I'm like, I want you to stop doing kickboxing. Stop everything about kickboxing. If you give me two years, I get you to the UFC. Just give me two years. I want you to breed MMA, think MMA, leave MMA. You will be world champion. As soon as he said to me, whoa, if you think that I can be world champion, then I, I'm with you. I open my bag, pull out the contract, and give him the contract. I'm like, oh, you get already the contract ready for me? I'm like, yeah. This is the new version of Coach Fernand Lopez. Not because I don't know him, not because I don't trust him, but the matter of fact is that the life is changing very fast, very complicated, very... So you learn that you cannot have the ideal world like you, you think that you will have. Yeah. There's a world in France saying... Uh, uh, meritocracy. Meritocracy means uh, the, uh, the leadership goes to who deserve. Merit means you deserve. Cracy is like democracy. So meritocracy mm -hmm. is like you deserve it and then you can have it. So my, my way to see the thing is like when you show up in my gym, if you deserve my attention, you will get my attention. I don't care about being friend with this one and then I will send more time with it. No, you need to deserve it. If you give me your time, I will give you my time and I will give you even more than my time. But if you don't give me your time, I feel like I, I'm losing my time for nothing because there's so much thing that coach sacrifice every day, but people they don't know. Cyril and Nasuddin didn't know that one month, one month before taking off, I stopped seeing my kids if they are not tested. Can you imagine that I have my kids living yeah. with their mother? Yeah. And because they're going to school and when they come back, I need to take them the weekend. But I will postpone a visit of my kid because I need to get them tested before in the PCR. And if they are negative, they can come, come with me and then we can spend time together because I don't want to put in danger. I don't want to put in jeopardy the career of my fighter. This is how you can be comment when you love people and when you, you love your job. Because knowing that my kids, my, my daughter are very afraid of uh, this thing in the nose, the, 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 the test. Yeah, she, it looks that, horrible. Yeah, that, that I don't want to do that. But because I know that I will ruin someone's career because I'm, I get contacted by the, the, by the COVID coming from my kids, I, want, I don't want to take that chance and I get them tested. And then I get self-quarantined every time when I'm like 
one or two months before the fight of my so almost all the year i'm i always paying attention with who i'm working with who i'm you know so you cannot do this if you don't have someone who cares about you if if the person do not care about you you don't deserve your attention and you're somebody who cares too much <laughs> sometimes too much <laughs> and, and and i say that with love i honestly think it's it's just sometimes too much and which it's i feel sad that things with you and francis ended the way they did honestly because because i know you and i know francis and i know that maybe there was some some miscommunication or or i don't know maybe some jealousy or maybe you know it, there there's just so many so many factors that in my opinion and and i know that it's not for for me to say but it, it's foolish it's foolish because i know how difficult it is to find somebody who cares so much and that's not something that that you just trade in for anything ever ever and then i i understand that life goes different different paths but that's special and that's rare and that's unique and as as your friend as as your athlete as thank you thank you for caring so much that <laughs> i remember you know i remember i i went to the gym and and rizlin was there and and she she you know she she wanted me to really enjoy enjoy paris and she's like hey you know like we'll go and like we'll go out and we'll just walk around and stuff and that that never that's never really happened to me in a gym where it's just initially somebody wants to make me feel welcome you know when you go to a gym normally it's it's either they want to beat the crap out of you yeah yeah it's it's war it's literally that it's like until somebody's submissive or you know there's so much to it so i remember that that she said that and i was like okay to be honest i was a little bit hesitant yeah i was like that's that's strange yeah <laughs> but but i had seen you know like i'd seen that in the gym everybody like really loved each other and it was kind of like a family and and you were the head of the family and it was they all respected you at the same time as joked around with you you know so so anyway we we go out and we're out and i think uh medi was with us too and he said i'm going to call for nod and i was like oh my god oh my god please don't it's like 2 in the morning <laughs> how are you going to call this man at this time and his response was oh he's always awake any time i call him at any time he'll pick up and i was like really yeah <laughs> really yeah. <laughs> and yeah. man that that's just hard to find honestly and and since i know you care and since i know you can't stop yourself you know i, I was going to ask it as a question but but i know <laughs> yeah i'm i you mean I've been fighting to 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 um to make myself different. Like I, I've been fighting to learn how to do not care too much. But actually, I'm not. A, I cannot coach someone if 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 I'm not in love with him. That that's your superpower. I don't think you should ever change. Yes. despite mm-hmm. despite people that's your superpower <laughs> carrying uh, nowadays is a superpower yeah i i just can i don't know why uh, I, i've been trying to be like normal like say okay you know what this is business i don't care i do whatever i have to do and then you do your shit but i just <laughs> can do it. i i just i don't just make it to do that i'm um like you said again i need to when you care about someone you give so much time the, the, yesterday i was training with cyril and i said to him um we need to do this 
let's keep doing this because this is something that 100% is going to come. I can say it, I don't care. It's going to bring you the calf kick, 100%. And he said to me, how do you know that, coach? I'm like, I'm split, I'm sleeping on Jez, you know, reason strike. I'm sleeping and eating and breathing Jez, you know, reason strike. Because you give, I mean, okay, this is the thing. You cannot do different when you know that someone trusts you. Yes. If, if you are normal, when someone tells you, hey, listen, coach, this is my life. Do whatever you want to do with my life. If you want to fuck my life up, fuck me up. But I just can't of you. I don't have anything else. When, the, when I have someone giving that trust to me, you should be a pure asshole to do not take care of him and to do not make sure that you understand what's going on there. Mm -hmm. So I will make sure that I understand whatever happened in the ATT. I want to understand how these people think. I really want to understand how the coach will think. I really want to understand how Kim Wallawal will teach Jesse know how to wrestling. I really want to understand how Thiago Alves will think and teach uh, Jazino how to make a, have a calf kick. I really want to understand all the options possible to make sure that sleep can, Cyril can sleep while I'm just washing his back. So if you are not invest, Emotionally, you cannot do that because you, there's so many things to do. There's a Netflix yeah. to do. There's so many work to do. <laughs> so there's a bunch of things that I want to do. Like everyone, like I have so many books that I have to read. So if, if, if the amount of love is not enough, you just get distracted and go do something else, you know? So this is how I live. That's why I'm stuck on that thing that every time, I will find myself um, being so much, caring so much, yeah. And do you, because Cyril's fighting him now, but Francis, that was his last fight, mm -hmm. right? But before now. So did you watch him like Francis was still with you? Like what you think, did you watch it with Francis in mind on what he should have done? And now do you watch it different with what Zero should have done or what should do? You mean uh, uh, for Jezino for, for, for or for Reason Strike? Yes. Yeah, yeah, but they, they are different. Um, Francis don't have much... Um, well, okay, let me put it different. Francis is very smart guy mm -hmm. to beginning for the start. He's a smart guy. Francis is very powerful, very athletic, mm -hmm. can do so much thing. Francis can kick, can elbow, can spin, but in the training. When the fight comes, okay. Francis is more focused about how to win with the shortcut, how can I do to win very quick and go home? Yeah. It's not comfortable trying things new. So the way to beat Rosenstrike wasn't that complicated for him, just one way. But that way was dangerous because Rosenstrike can knock people out. So yeah, he just rushed like, let me finish this first because I can get knocked out if I spend time here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I didn't speak with France, I just spoke with Francis but for that game plan. But I feel like knowing Francis, the way he did rush on Rosen Strike was to get a clinch if he missed the shot. Okay. If he missed the punch, he will be in touch 
and it will just maul and brutalize Rosen Strike because stylistically speaking, Francis is a monster. When he gets his hands on your body, he will feel it. No matter mm -hmm. if you is not technique, technique like you, technical like you on the wrestling uh, department, he will as throw uh, uh, Jazino by any means on the ground and then rush on ground and pound. This is what I think on what the, that what Francis could have do or should have do if he didn't knock Jazino out that early in the in the fight. For Cyril, it's different. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. People do. Cyril can knock people out. He did that in the past in the kickboxing. But um, because of the fact that he can choose a lot of tools, you have someone with a bazooka and we have someone with a, a, a knife, a fork, Uh, 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 you know, piece, uh, 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 you know, um, you know, a lot of kind of weapons. So it's different. I'm, 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 there's so many ways that Cyril can win this fight. So many that you have to go through everything and give the possibility to ev to to all that stuff to happen, depending of how you're going to react. Um, so I, 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 I can't really compare the way the two, the, the both guys fought, uh, uh, should fought uh, uh, Rosenstrike. I, I just know that if, if you take a picture of Francis hitting someone and you take the picture of the face of Francis, you know yeah. that he's not kidding. <laughs> This is how he kills people. Because yeah. every punch is throw all the family on that punch. Like, Everything is on, on that punch. And you can tell that on his face, like he's really worried that I need to finish this. Mm -hmm. And and the other hand you have series, just try to play and display skills and, and just try to distract you, you know, just to flim flam and then hear you play this way and then hear you this way, play this way, and then that's what he's doing. So they have different ways to, to see the 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 The, the the fact that the the way to fight to fight but again there's a a sentence that I use in French saying that the result uh the performance valid the come to valid the method like no matter your method if you are winning every time then your method is valid I mean Yes. Don't come to me to speak, say to me how you have a very better method, very good method, if that method do not win and my method that you don't like winning every time. So, yeah, Francis is doing well with the, the method that he has, which is a man of power and he can brutalize people. So fighting Sipe, based on how it was last time, do you think, do you think this time will be any different? Yep. You do? 100%. So you think he, he will come out as champion after this fight? After the fight, Cyril will, uh, Francis will be champion uh, in the very first round or later puts him in the second round. I'm pretty sure he's going to knock out uh, Sipe. I mean, like I said, like I told you, Francis is a smart guy. When you fight for the title, It's at least at least half of a million dollars that you're fighting for. You're not yeah. there to to play the ego. The this is you know, Francis. No matter what you just say, Francis know how to beat Stipe. We went through this. He had that PDF that you was talking about. I guarantee yeah. you, <laughs> I guarantee you that that PDF, Francis remember the PDF. You never learn as you get a loss like a loss. And I yeah. guarantee you that he will not let the choice to his camp. He will make that work the way he can win the fight. No matter if they don't think like as he's thinking, he know how to win this fight. He, he, he know how to win this fight. I mean, when you have an NCAA, When you have 
un, un Golden Glove, like CP, very good on boxing, very good on wrestling. You cannot rush. You cannot chase him. You just have to be light on the feet and pick him apart. At some point, eventually, you can take him down because he's tired of you picking him apart. And that's what Francis will do, no matter what happened. I mean, he cannot do the same thing, you know. Maybe the, 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 maybe the, the memories can play with his head at some point and then fail. But if we take out the emotional that this guy beat me 25 minutes, three years ago, if you take that out, no doubt, Francis is going to, uh, the outcome is that he's going to be champion. So what you're saying is the PDF stays the same. He just has to do the PDF. Yes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And you feel like he's learned and now he will just follow the fucking PDF. 100%. He will not say that. <laughs> he can't say that. He will oh, not of course, that. of course. <laughs> because, you, you know, you know, that's normal, you know. Because yeah. you, you can give that credit to your former coach, right? You, it is not, it not makes sense. But again, I know how important it is for him. Like mm -hmm. now that Cyril is, I was talking with a journalist this morning and he asked me, okay, you are the manager of Cyril as a, an agent. What would happen if, if Cyril win this fight? Would you sit with the title or will you go Uh, to get busy. I'm like, okay, I won't be honest with you. Is Cyril win the title? Is, is Cyril fight on Saturday and win the fight? Mm -hmm. it, will, it will still be the only one undefeated in the ranking. Right now in the yes. top 15, Cyril Gunn is the only undefeated. Mm -hmm. okay. We know how the UFC like the undefeated people to go to for the title. Yes. If I will ring the phone of whoever I have to ring to, 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 to have that confirmation. If they say to me, okay, you got it. If you sit down 100% after whoever, after John Jones, after you have the title, then I will ask Cyril to sit down. If, if we have to wait seven months, makes sense. Because you don't, you are not fighting for less than six, 600. So why will you rush to go fight for 100 when you can have 600K straight and then have the goal at the same time? So you better sit down, improve your wrestling, improve your, 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 your whatever, your, your, all your skills and become, and, and then you have time for the conditioning because sometimes when you get busy too much, You don't have time to develop the, the strength, to develop the condition. You need certain amount of time to develop that. Yes. So I'm saying that because I want to let you know that Francis fighting Stipe is not about, they are not playing anymore for the ego. This is, that's the, the good money start to play there. And when we are yeah. talking about good money, you're not, you're not playing around. You are going there to, to, to have the, the, the way to win the fight. As I was saying to you, you think as a lawyer, how mm -hmm. do I make my client go out of the jail no matter what happened? This is how you play. And I know that Siri, uh, Francis know how he should do to win that fight. And he will make that happen. Well, how do you see Cyril against Stipe? Because hit and move sounds like Cyril's, you know, sounds like his specialty. Let's wait on Saturday. And then <laughs> as the end self, I mean, of that, Saturday, I'm going to get on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, when the fight is end of Saturday, we all will know where Siri stand. People do know if the train was a true or if, if you should have jumped aboard of the train or if you should have, you know, this is, this is it. On Saturday, we will know, you know, Jezino beat Dos Santos, Cyril beats Dos Santos differently. Mm -hmm. Francis beat Jezino 
And I think Celil will beat Jazino differently with, 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 uh, with a way to manage the, the, the distance, with the way to manage the, the way to box. And, and I think, um, uh, again, if everything goes wrong, or if everything goes right, I think people they will like what they will see on Saturday. What, what, I, what I find fascinating is that you have two different heavyweights, right, mm-hmm. that are both very successful with very different skill sets, you know, very different attributes. You have one that has giant knockout power and just scary. And another one that's agile, has a lot of skill sets. It's a very complete fighter. That came from your gym, mm-hmm. two different people that, you know, it, well, like what I'm trying to say, it's not like you just grab heavyweights that just, punch hard and that's it you know and you just kind of like stand next to them like, like you develop and and they're different skill sets they're heavyweights and they're they're successful and their methods work but they're different methods and they fight differently and it's it's beautiful to see that to see such individuality expressed in martial arts it's it's refreshing to see that it's not it's not cookie, like, you know, like a cookie cutter version of a gym. You know, it's like, oh, this is this is this gym style. This is the cookie cutter version. And they're yeah. all kind of fighting the same. No, they're they're completely different. And and I and I can say that for all the athletes in your gym. That's that's, that's a great the, coach. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> but uh, uh, again, like I said. There's, there's even more of that. There's uh, talking about the heavyweight division. I think I have four guys in the gym right now. Messi Katanga is uh, one of the met. Um, he spent ten years in the national French judo team. Uh, heavyweight of Teddy Rina. Uh, uh, this kid can box. This kid can can you know can grapple. Right? And uh, I think they're going to, you guys are going to um, heard about, about him at some point. Uh, probably before the end of the year, he will sign in the UFC. We have that slim that I was talking about that we're still working on um, on, um, on some, some stuff about his proper work. But uh, when we make that happen, they will hear about him. And this guy is bearing the crap of, Siri Gan in the gym, beating was beating, beating was beating Francis, <laughs> was throwing Francis all around the gym with punches, with everything, sparing with no card, and he was throwing them around. So, uh, um, I, I I love that to have different people with different skill, and uh, like they say again, if if your dreams do not scare you, then you are not dreaming. You are not, you know you are not thinking about something big for you. And uh, so my, my dream is just to, to, to try to develop different people. With, and it's not you who have to adapt to my strategy. I need to adapt on your skills, on your, your patterns, or your, your way to train, your way to, to think. You know that if, 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 if that was my call, and if I couldn't, I would have just pin you in, in Paris and keep you there and, you know, but again, uh, I need to follow the paths of my, my student and let them be and they choose the pattern that you have to, how they want to, to go. So I like the difference, the, 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 the fact that people, they can be their own and still be changed, no matter the, the style, no matter the style. And I want them to dream to be changed, and then we work to get there. You dream, and you also get them out of jail. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> you're a champion, and I know how to get you out of jail. So <laughs> you're set either way, you know? You're yeah. all set. Everything. You're all set. You're, 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 out of, you're out of any danger. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay well this is the last question and i'll let you go because i don't know how long i've kept you but i could keep you for forever <laughs> for since you analyze fighters you know i know you probably have the whole heavyweight division lined up completely analyzed 
there is a new wild card being added, which is John Jones to the heavyweight division. So how do you see John Jones in the heavyweight division? And do you see him being different because it's a different weight class? Do you see his style changing? Um, I think he should not change the style. I think he mm -hmm. should just be himself, but letting the conditioning do the rest. Eating more, eating clean, but eating more, so he can uh, increase the the, 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 the the weight. You know, get some weight on him, muscle of him, on him, and then um, just pick people apart. And who can be agile like as him and wrestler wrestling as him? Who, I mean, people they can match with him when they are in the vertical point. But when they get yes. in the horizontal point, who, 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 really, I don't really see a lot of people there with talent to match with him. That's why I've been preparing Siri for the such of guy because if if you don't understand what's going on in on the ground, if you don't mm -hmm. know where the guy is going, you're in big trouble because uh, the IQ, the final IQ of uh, John Jones is something big. I like the fact that he's going to the heavyweight. It scares me, not because I think that is an unbearable, but because he's the the true person with the yeah with with the weapon with the with the skills to really stop Cyril. He's the man. I mean, in okay. that kind of game. But what I like that is moving is that. Politically speaking, is a redemption for him. All the stuff that he had, uh, the, the 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 you know the the, the drug problem, the, the 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 you know the 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 doping problem, everything about the the accident, the accident that he had, you know the the hit and run that he had, everything. That was when he was light heavyweight. Going in heavyweight, mm. clean everything, almost. Make you give a new career, make him give. He can have the redemption and become a court. Gotcha. The two, the two him, the court thing because of the, the, the bad thing that he had in the, the, the other weight division. If he go now, sit down in the heavyweight, stay there, he can really have, he can, he can retire with, with a, a very good, you know, he can retire as a very good Hall of Fame, like become a, a great artist, MMA artist that we ever had because of the redemption that he can have in the heavyweight division. So to be honest with you, yeah, people, they can, they can knock people out, but this guy have a fight IQ. And you have people like, they have the strength to knock people out and you have people that have the strength to avoid being knocking out. Mm -hmm. CPA is this kind of people that now is, the chin is not the same that when he fought Francis the first time. Cyril is that kind of people. You don't know how he's ducking, how he's, he's cheating life the dead is sitting dead every time, you, but you don't know. But in the end of the fight, you just see that the face of Cyril is clean. You don't know how he made it. So I think uh, John Jones is that kind of people. I think John Jones really can dismantle the heavyweight division, establish his, establish himself as a king of the division, and then retire like um, a new court, you know. I like that redemption thing. I, I, I see it. Now that you, I, I didn't think about it like that, but it's true. That's the best way to, to make people forget about everything that he had in the past. Is hey, I'm a new guy, new division, new guy, new everything. Forget about the okay, you can you can say that I teach in the, the other division, but now I'm clean. Every yeah. time the is that on me, new division, I'm clean, I'm I'm taking over. I'm clean and I'm taking over. That's how you 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 can beat uh, Habib and become the court. Now how you can beat JSP, 
because so I, I really think this is a very good move for him. It's not a good move for the other. Even they are pretending. Everyone in the division saying, "Well, I'm not. I'm not scared. It's a good money. If you come, I want to yeah. fight John Joseph. No, but he's a boogeyman. No matter what they say, he's a he's, he's, he's a scary dude. Yeah, I agree. I've I've always thought he was very complete and. And yeah, now the heavyweight division, you just slap a 2.0. John Jones, 2.0. That's it. Everything I ever did before doesn't count. <laughs> Only the good stuff, you know. Only the good stuff. I'm new. <laughs> good stuff still counts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new. I'm just new. Forget about me. I'm not. I'm, this is a new John Jones. Forget about the past. Everything is clean. Yeah. Everything is, you know, organic. Yeah. So don't, don't judge me. I'm just coming, beating people, winning. This is the new way that I can do something. And I, I really think you should take that seriously. So yeah. I hope there will not be any issue of negotiation between Dana White and himself. I, I mm -hmm. hope he's going to make it and have that, that division change and have the, the you know, but again, uh, the competitivity is very good. And, and and also even the the money will increase for them for 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 John Jones and for the heavyweight division. So, yeah, I think it's a good move, definitely. So, would you prefer him? You would you prefer Cyril fighting because of the money thing, John Jones or the belt? The belt. The belt. Uh, Cyril is going not after someone after the bell. This is, uh, you have to, you just have to follow the goal. Everything is on the goal. If you follow yeah. the goal, you'll be right. Don't, don't, don't think about, don't get distracted by the ego, mm -hmm. by the problem, by the, no, no, no. Just follow the goal. So, when I, when, when, when I understand, uh, Derek Lewis saying that, uh, you don't want to fight for five rounds, you just want three rounds, I'm like, yes, go. <laughs> <laughs> were you surprised this weekend are you kidding me <laughs> like, have, that I mean, was crazy that was crazy like <laughs> you always have in your mind that anyone can knock anyone in the heavy division but mm -hmm. to be honest with you no way I wasn't there I, I mean like I, I wasn't I, I was pretty sure that Curtis would kill it. Like, just play with him and kill him. And well, he, he was, like, first round, second, like, all the way up to it. He was. And 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 the thing is that I didn't listen uh, myself because I, I always knew that this guy is different, uh, Derek Lewis. It's very hard to to keep on the ground. Then I just said that on the debrief, saying that when you see the fight, Gabriel Gonzaga Napao, he was riding, uh, 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 how to say, Derek Lewis. But Derek Lewis was keep coming up with him, like squat, just squat and go up with him. No matter who you are, he just, he always find a way to, it's very hard to keep him down. That's the first thing. The second thing is that there's no one motivated like this guy. This guy never gives up, never give up. I mean, there's no way Derek, till the end, he will try to kill you. So, yeah, I should have paid attention. I really should have paid attention because I know that he's, he's heavy. He's not easy to deal with. He can, and and, and he can, he's trying. He don't care. It's going with a high kick, like jump high kick, like fly high kick, you know, and you don't care. So, yeah, I, I was, I was fucking surprised. I wasn't ready. But after all, when I thought I was like, well, you know, that this, this, this was possible. And, uh, and I'm surprised that he, he don't see himself going for the title. He don't see himself. It's like, well, I want over him. I was like, oh. Over him, okay. Yeah. And he said that I don't want to. I don't want to fight five round. I don't have the stamina for five round. I just want to do three round. Okay. Maybe he makes you know 
five round money was three rounds. <laughs> He's like, why would I train more? <laughs> if I can make five round money with three rounds, I'm yeah. going to go stress. <laughs> That's true. But then a baller you, Instagram as well. <laughs> yeah. But, but then you just took out the possibility of any title fight anymore because there's no any such of, you know, title fight on three round, right? So, um, because it shocked me the other night. I was like, this, this dude can still do something. But, I mean, when you see the guy, you, you can imagine that this guy is the one who have the record, the most knockout on the UFC. The All the fucking UFC has the record of the most knockout. This is, this is phenomenal. So he can still do something. But again, you don't know. I, I mean, there's, you know, he have. That's why we, we love him. I, I really love that guy. Like to be honest with you, is for me the the fighter, the most entertaining, the most entertaining fighter that I ever seen. I, I love him. I, I, I'm on. I'm I'm always wearing the punchline. I'm always expecting him to drop any punchline. You know, I love it. Like my what? boss was hot. <laughs> Like, <laughs> when he was like taking off his pants, like, 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 whoa, like, like, how do you come up with that? I was like, like, <laughs> like, hey, baby, I'm coming home. Uh, I wish you're okay because I'm going to go deep. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what is sick? with the with the straight face, too? He doesn't even laugh, straight, he just straight, like, straight like, normal, like, normal, yeah, huh. like, no problem, like, yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. I, I really like this dude. Like, it's just speaking like straight, you know. You don't have any problem with that. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. I, I, I honestly, I hope to see him more. And yeah, I really like to see him. Like, the press conference is so entertaining when he's there. It's like he was talking, even when he's saying thank you to people. He was like, "Hey, uh, what is the name of my conditioning coach?" Yeah, okay, thank you to, what is the name of the, the guy from the dad? Okay, thank you. Thank you for the boxing coach also, because if I don't say that, you guys going to. So good. So, I love him. I love him. Do, do you think he, like, he plans this? Or that's just how he is? No, I think, I think it's, this is, this is the really, I really think it's like that. Like, you know, he just don't give a damn. He don't give a shit. So, it's just being himself. And I love that. I love that so much. What, why, why did he say that? Like, because I was listening to the fight and after, you know, after he, he knocked him out, he was like, mm. oh, um, he said something about like Herb Dean, like this is your fault. Why, why did he say that? What, was it because he was telling him about the fingers or because he would, didn't get there on time? No, I think that he was talking about the, the extra punch that he give on the ground. Because at some point they asked him, you, you, you knew that your opponent was knocked out, like it was alcohol, yeah. Curtis, but you, you hit him two, two times, uh, two, twice on the, on the floor. And he said, I'm not that kind of guy who just uh, switch off. I know people that are doing that, but I can't do that. I mean, like I need the, the, the referee to pull me out and to see me, to say to me, chill, chill down. Oh, I, I can stop, you know, I, I can just yeah. shoot like that. And you never know, the guy might just wake up and then uh, next time you know, you're, you're, you're fucking out. So, uh, you know, so this, I think that's what he was saying that it's, uh, it's helping for that it didn't pull him out very early. And he said that he, he was doing his job. So I guess I'm not sure, but uh, that, make, that, that makes sense for me yeah because like he like he uppercutted him and and like he fell but it was kind of like like he pushed him off like he could kind of felt kind of slow you because know it, was, it was, was kind of like it, it was already out it was out yeah. so when when you are you i mean the body was falling but it, this is the the attraction was making him fall but actually the guy wasn't falling himself i mean the body was falling and then he just followed the guy and um you know just you know, the, the two punch was very dangerous. Like, because Curtis was totally out call and he hit him yes. in the chin. Boom, yeah. two times. 
Can you imagine the, um, the, the power that this guy can generate and, and hit the guy two times? Uh, you know, I don't know how long that's going to take, but I really am afraid, I'm, I really afraid that this KO is a left, life-changing career for Curtis Blake. I don't think it's going to be the same anymore. No, I, it's... I, I'm not sure. I think psychology speaking and uh, um, healthy speaking, speaking in terms there's something, I, I don't think that won't end up good and right. Like, I think, I, I really think the, 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 the two extra punch with the fact that um, he wasn't expecting that um, outcome on the fight yes. will, will give him some trouble to come back, like come back straight, like the 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 the, 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 guy, the Curtis Blake that we know. I I think I, I couldn't agree more with that because you know we there are some injuries that are. You can have a broken knee, you can you can break your arm, you can have surgery, and you can do your, your rehab and you can come back all right. When you have a brain injury, that's yeah. that's your life. Yeah. That is your life. It it is not that it's gonna get cold and my arm is gonna, no. you know, it's gonna hurt because it, it's cold and no, it's 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 your life and and it's scary and as yeah. And it's it's that's the thing. Al already, yeah. this is already dangerous. Yeah. This is already already way too much. Yeah. You know, in in that sense, in in what you put your life in, and it's not it's not only now and then. And you see a fight, and you see you know it's like a fight week. You know, all the attention's on you, and you're you're like the star, and all this, and then and then time goes by, and nobody you know nobody really gives a shit. Yeah. Excuse my language. Like, gives a shit. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens to you? Nobody cares. Nobody's there every single day. You know, if you struggle with like some type. So that that for me is as a fighter. That's I don't think it's a joke. And I know. It's I know. And um, and uh, messed and, up. Again, I'm afraid for him. Like, um. Even you don't get a concussion when you come out and you you're watching your your tape on video and seeing how you was laying down and the hammer you were like two times with no defense and you kind of become aware of how how often you are putting your life on the line. And you yeah. and that can mess you with you in your next fight. Like, I'm I'm not sure I'm going to shoot for the takedown very often because of this kind of stuff, you know. And that's what I'm saying to you that the guy I, I really feel bad for him because this is the guy that really puts uh, Francis Ngannou the first time in danger, first fight. We won in China. China, the fight just started. Francis threw a punch who wasn't even like something hit in the back of the the, the shoulder mm -hmm. and then and then Curtis was was out. I feel very bad for him. Like um this is one of the guy the most dangerous heavyweight ever. But I feel like he will not have the chance to sit on the throne. I feel like it's not fair. Like is not. I, I really feel bad for him because he really worked a lot to to improve to improve his skills to improve his striking. To and I feel like he, he, with this last knock that he just had, I'm uh, I'm afraid that this is the breaking point. I mean, he will he will keep firing, but I feel like after this fight, it will be different. Yeah, it's it's hard to see yourself not only I think get knocked out, but also left unprotected. Left unprotected in yeah. in like out of all things, 
especially especially as a heavyweight and especially with the amount of force the amount of force they can generate yeah. Yeah, like you're not getting hit by a strawweight female yeah and like you're not you're not you're not getting that no time. it's a giant giant man and you are unconscious yeah. any shot you can speak to any doctor about this <laughs> if it's like, you are not aware oh my god it's, it's, uh, it's, and and it's and it's not only putting danger the fighters and their lives but also the sport yeah how it's seen you know and, so you, from you that that's dealt with all these commissions and and all these things and it's just dealt with making mma legal you know that yeah that's dangerous and and and, and also There's a thing that fighters, they see human being. And when, sometimes you don't pity yourself, you don't care about yourself. But when your wife say to you, I don't want to see this anymore. I, I, yeah. I, I saw you lay down and this guy was slash ham, was, you know, I don't want to see that anymore then you become a little bit cautious like okay now i'm aware of my life and my life i don't own my life my kids need me alive my wife needs me alive and you can start think a lot and uh thinking is not good for a fighter i mean and that kind of level thinking is not doing good thing on you it messes with your head sometimes you know so Uh, I'm looking. I, I really wish him the best for the for the for the, the the time that they give him the suspension time that he will have. I I'm, I wish you the best for the recovering, but I'm afraid that there's something happened last the last night. Yeah, I agree, and I'm gonna end this on a happy note because. Can't end it with that, and I am very surprised that Cyril hasn't showed up dancing yet. That I don't hear music. That you have no music playing. Because <laughs> I'm very surprised. Because, like I said to you, I, I I lock down the door and I lock him in his apartment. <laughs> like this is my apartment. It has its own. <laughs> so no, no way. But otherwise, you will have seen him coming in. I mean, like oh. Dancing. <laughs> dancing, dancing, yeah, always. Dancing. I don't know how this guy is doing. I don't know. He never have any problem. I don't know how he's doing. Yeah. Uh, I remember. I remember after the fight when we were in Uruguay that he came out and he was still dancing. He just fought. Just fought. He was dancing. He got. He went and got in a jacuzzi that wasn't really like for that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the <laughs> Dude, you you don't have like an adrenaline dump at no. least. <laughs> at least, can you be That's normal? No, no way. I was no sitting way. there like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can you imagine that you are going to walking for the fight, and the guy just asked me, "Hey, could do you have your phone on you? Can you share some this music?" I like the music. It's the opponent music. You are going to get hit, and you are in the the you know the corridor. We are walking, and it's like he's listening the music of the opponent and said to me to shazam the music. What the fuck? I mean, what the fuck? This <laughs> doesn't surprise me. You know, so this this. <laughs> How can you care about the music and ask me to shazam the music when we are almost what, in the... What was the song? What was the song? I don't remember the song. That was the opponent's <laughs> song. I don't remember. And that was in the pool. And he was like, can you shazam the song, please? I like the song. <laughs> I, I mean, are you aware that you are going to fight? As soon as you lost this, you're, you're going to fight. Like, in, in, in 30 seconds, you're, you're going to fight. <laughs> You know, but um, so is, so so you didn't Shazam the song. I did Shazam the song. <laughs> I, I would I would say I did. It was serious. It was fuck. It was deadly serious. He asked me the song, and I Shazam the song. I have the song. I will I will ask him the song and give you give you the song. Oh my god! Yeah, it was serious. 
<laughs> no, it's not only that he was serious, but you did it. No, I did it. Uh, this Shazam the song, and he's laughing on me. I mean, you can see the video. And he's like, Coach, stop care. S -s uh, stop be scared like that. I'm like, I'm not scared. He's like, come on, I know you're scared. You think that I'm, I know you're scared. You're afraid of me because you care about me. Don't worry, I'm going to beat him. Don't worry. It's just, just a game. So, yeah. did, did, did he go out early because his teammate was fighting? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't surprise me because I remember yeah. him coming what was it like three hours early to the fight because I was fighting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah, that same yeah. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, <laughs> he's um like um this is something very good on him. I like to be honest with you, I I uh, I had to say to him to do not go in Poland because we, we had another fighter fighting in Poland and he wanted to go to in Poland and then join me back here and then assist to the fight of of uh Nassau then and then do his own fight so it's very generous very um very um this is one thing also like if you bring serial aspiring partner and they have to train uh if you see something that the partner do not see and that it can help it will take the time to you know to 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 show him it's not like uh people when you got focus on your camp you're crazy you know they really care about like there's people pretending they care about people. He really do care about people. Like uh, you will go to the amateur class, uh, amateur class, and then try to talk with them. Uh, you know, try to you know the people, the kid like that. Oh, oh, serious. But it's like you should do this. You should do this. You know, it's, he really care yeah. about people. Like really, like he's do. He's my reminder of the the. Um, how to say the, the birthday at gym. Like, hey, King, do not forget is uh, uh, Veronica's um, uh, uh, birthday. Hey, King, do not forget is a resident birthday. Hey, King, he's taking all the birthday and, and make sure that I will not forget and I will give the okay to the the committee manager to, to put something on the website saying that it's the birthday. He really is great. I'm like, the, the the thing is, and it shocked me so much about the fact that he not only does he not put other people in danger, but he'll put himself in danger. And I'm saying this, it's not like it's not, it doesn't happen very often. The, the, the gym space for sparring is very small, mm. especially for a guy that size, mm. and especially because you have so many guys that size. So he's not only fighting you. But he's worried about four other fights going yeah. on to yeah. protect that guy and yeah. every other guy from hitting yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah. This this crazy. There's people. I don't know where this kind of people coming from, but the, the, there's people like that. Actually. I'm 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 really shocked. Like I've been checking every. I've been checking so long to wait when the, the real serial will come out. Like when did he will stop to make the comedy and show me the real face of because the with the life you start to become skeptical, you start to become afraid of people, and you're like, maybe he's hiding something, maybe he's preparing something. What's going on? How can someone be that nice? How, how can someone be that thinking about the other people? Like, um, if, if you know that you have any problem or any, he will come uh, and try to spend time with you because you say, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, I, I don't want you to come because uh, I don't want to, I want to be alone because uh, I have a divorce. Uh, so uh, the court, the thing, the, the, this is a bad day for me. And because he cannot say to you, I'm coming to help you. He will say, hey, how are you doing? I, I just found out a so good movie. I mean, can you, can you <laughs> please, I don't want to go to the movie alone. Can you come with me to the movie and, and then pull you out of your house, you know? Like really thinking how to make people happy. That's crazy. That's not, um, I'm serious. That, that's amazing how many times 
you can cut him, try to make something good, like just yeah. like that. Like, uh, I don't know if you remember, but today is the day of, uh, today is the day that uh, this guy lost his dad. So can you just send him a text to Roman uh, to show him that you think about him? I did that this morning. So if you can, I'm like, wow. You know, crazy. Yeah, he's very deserving of his nickname then. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I never thought that a nickname can fit that much to someone, but the nickname is just perfect. He's just himself. He's just perfect. I, I, I wish, I wish both of you guys all the luck in the world. Thank you. Thank Honestly, you. Honestly, it's it. What, when he fights, it's it's not only it's not only skill that like like I go for him because of his skill because because I know him or, or anything. It's it's just because I know he's such a good person. He's just such a good person. Like to to the point <laughs> where where it's just like, damn, you're too much. I'm I'm not even like like I'll be I'm bad. I'm bad. It's okay. I'll, I'll accept. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Don't compare me to that. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that, that's 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 true. That's. Uh, I think um, French people um, just start to to recognize that they have something unusual, but I really think that the 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 the, 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 the entire MMO world will like France, uh, Cyril. When, when, when the time comes, when um, when the when it, it will start to become mainstream, that getting on on big TV, and I think the uh, and mostly when he will have the possibility to, to express himself, himself. Yes. Because um, it's not easy to job in a language that you don't uh, you can speak very well. You know, yes. so. Is is for the people that don't understand French. In is you, they have some limitation to really understand who is Sirgan. But as soon as you know really who is Sirgan, you are, you are fucked. I mean, like no matter who you was, who you was rooting for, you just you you stop you yeah. score because you you are like oh no, it's so nice. Oh, <laughs> oh why they gotta fight each other? <laughs> You know, yeah. so, uh, again, thank you very much for um, for thank having you me. for yeah, all your know, time. You know, <laughs> having me very, very much. I, I can, you know, that I can speak with you, yeah, like forever if if <laughs> if, 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 if that was possible. But again, um, thank you very much, and I'm uh, I'm impressed by how you're doing because uh, people they don't know, but. Uh, you're doing very good on journalistic way. Like, um, I just, now is the end of our interview. Mm -hmm. And like, and I, and, I, and I just find out that you, the way you was asking question and the way you, you stood uh, and uh, the way you let people talk, that's very impressive. That's, that's how they, they have to do this job. I mean, you know how to ask questions to people and how to make them speak. Coach, you can, I mean, you're, you're a, a book of knowledge. It would be stupid for me not to let you, you know, express all of that. You have so much to say and so much interesting things to say. I don't, I don't really feel like I did anything. Thank you. Thank you very much. I can, I can, I can wait to, uh, to start again, uh, RS, and and have you there as a as a major. Well, uh, I don't think I'm good enough for it, but I'll surely try my best to prepare. Yeah. And say hello to my man. <laughs> I will do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.